sometimes when I'm looking for the sneakers to review for the channel, it comes hard. It takes a while to find the right sneaker and I'm like, mm, I'm not sure about that. But sometimes, like today, it just falls into my lap and I'm like a yes, yes, yes. And this is definitely a big yes, yes, yes for me. Way back when, we're talking about three, four years ago when I first started dropping content for YouTube, which was on the Butter Movement channel. One of the very first uh, videos I ever did was a missed match sneaker. Uh, I think they were dunk lows from the Atmos line. Um, and here we have a mismatch, the Air Jordan 1 mid. Uh, so that's already ticking the boxes for me. And then there's all that tiny little detailing on there. And if you watch my channel, if you've stayed with my channel for a long time, you know that I love the tiny details when they put enough effort into the shoe to make it a little bit more, spend a little bit extra cash at the production time that you know as the consumer out there that they're not just milking the money out of it and saying grab, 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 grab. And that's my two favorite things in sneakers. And here we are with those two favorite things wrapped up in one shoe. So it's a pleasure. It's one of my favorite things to do. I'm very happy to bring you today the Nike Air Jordan 1 Mid Nike Hoops. This is a Tokyo Battle 23 Secret Channel. On Tokyo Battle 23 Secret Channel, there's Mainichi up soon one day. Mainichi me to go to side every single day from Tokyo, Japan. I bring you content about upcoming sneaker releases, sneaker news, and sneaker reviews. And these days, it's big and hard, like seriously hard work. There's a lot going on in the world. Everybody out there knows that. For me, I'm here in Tokyo, Japan. Wow, I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's a helicopter going overhead. It's like, what is that noise? Um, I'm going to leave that stuff in the video. I always leave in the little sort of quirks and things like that. And the reason that you can hear that is because I'm shooting from home, something I don't like to do. I prefer to shoot in a studio. Um, but I'm shooting from home because of this lockdown that's in uh, effect here in Tokyo, Japan. It's a sort of lockdown light. It's not as strict as other countries in the world where there have been like the epicenters, as they like to say. Um, but they're trying to keep the numbers low. They're not trying to get the numbers down. They're trying to keep them down here in Japan so that's why it's kind of locked down light so that makes my life more difficult uh, what makes my life even more difficult is that I blew out my back uh, yesterday was it yesterday it was yesterday and I shot uh, a video yesterday about um, golly I can't remember what it was now and uh, and I remember I was just like oh trying really hard to stand up was very very difficult so that's a bit of a, a challenge for me here uh, but it isn't stopping me more than 500 consecutive daily videos from my channel every single day bringing you guys that content and it has hasn't stopped me, hasn't slowed me down yet. Fingers crossed we'll be able to keep going through this coronavirus times, through this buggered up back that I've got, and I'll be able to keep going, bringing you that content. And what we're looking at today is that um, Nike Hoops mid Love to bring you guys mids. Right now, one of the hottest videos on my channel is a mid. I think it's the black toe, it's called. Uh, the reason I don't remember what it's called is because I shot that video something like three or four months ago. But all of a sudden, this uh, past couple of weeks, that sneaker, that video got really hot and went way past like six, 7,000 views, which is an awful lot of views for my channel. So thank you guys for watching that and pushing that for whatever reason. And here we are again today with a mid, and I absolutely love this sneaker. Like I said, I like the mismatch side of it, and I also like the small detail on it and I'm going to take you through all of that today. So let's start off with the one thing that I'm not a huge fan of. Since I like everything else, might as well tell you the one thing I'm not a huge fan of and I'm not a huge fan of the thumb branding up there. It is a unique point on the sneaker and if you zoom in on it, hopefully the green screen's holding up and I can zoom right in there and show you guys that. Uh, but what I do like about it is that it's a unique piece of thumb branding that you wouldn't normally see on a Jordan 1 or Jordan 1 mid. Uh, but what I don't like about it is that it's not mismatched. It would have been very easy for them to put green on one side and purple on the other to sort of match the rest of the motif of the sneaker. Uh, but for some reason, in that one particular place, they just decided to stick with the green kind of uh, branding up there on the tongue. Even though it is that Nike Hoop special branding, even though it is a really cool piece of branding, I just don't know why they didn't go with the mismatched thing on there. Who knows, but it's the one one sort of like, ah, uh, for me in the sneaker. Everything else I think is really, really fire. My personal favorite point on the sneaker is actually right on the back, and it's not the part of the heel that you think I'm gonna say it is. Uh, most people I'm sure on the heel will be looking at this, which again should be visible on the green screen right here, which says, I think it says center and breathe on one heel, and it says breathe and center on the other heel. So even that has got a sort of mismatched effect to it. Yes, it's cool. Super Super discreet, which you, as you know, I love that. I like kind of little hidden hints or little subtle things in sneakers. Uh, very difficult. I'm sure a lot of people won't have noticed it because it's kind of white on white, even though the white writing isn't really white, but you know what I mean. Um, but it's not my favorite feature on the back of the sneakers. My favorite feature is a little bit up 
from that, which is where the swooshes from the lateral and the medial side connect together on the heel. And as usual, on a Jordan 1 uh, high or mid, there's that tiny little rectangular panel where the two swooshes come together from the, the lateral side and from the medial side. Um, and the swooshes themselves are mismatched, and we'll have a look at them in a minute because the stitching on them is important. Um, but it's not the swooshes themselves that I'm interested in, it's the fact that they've mismatched that tiny little panel on there. And you can see the green swooshes that come around to the back of the sneaker, and then they have a purple panel there, and then the purple swooshes that come around to the back on the other sneaker having a green panel there. Tiny little detail, love it. Somebody took the time to say, you know what, this needs is a little bit extra. Why don't we swap those guys out and keep that mismatch motif going? And again, that's why I'm disappointed in the tongue branding because it would have been simple to put it up there as well in a similar sort of way. So I don't know why they didn't do it up there, but I love it on the heel of these things. Uh, and I'll go down now to that um, breathe and center part of this, the, the heel that I was talking about before, which is a cool feature. Love it. think it's really cool. It's kind of hidden, sort of snuck in the back there on these guys. The first time I actually saw it, it was so discreet. I thought it was, um, what do they call it now? Like watermark? Is that what they call it? When, you know, like you see it on a lot of sneakers that are up online and pictures of sneakers where the person who's gotten this early view of a sneaker puts their channel watermark or their IG tag or whatever on it uh, and then uh, so I thought that's what that was when I first saw it and then I was like wow that's really actually quite cool breathe and center center and breathe so another really neat feature and another really neat mismatch feature but as I said I was I want to go to those swooshes at the the uh, the midfoot side um, on the sneaker now they could have mismatched the the lateral and the medial sides if they wanted to but instead what they did was they went with one color of swoosh on one sneaker and then on the the other sneaker they went with another color switch and those colors are green and purple as you know um, and the thing about it that I really really like is a that they've got the same color on one sneaker like I said the purple on one and green on the other but then if you zoom in and again hopefully on the green screen here this is working out for me uh, is that you can zoom in on there and you can see that the stitching is also mismatched so on the purple swoosh you have the green stitching and on the green swoosh you have the purple stitching again big yes for me would have been very easy for them to have the same color of stitching on those swooshes probably easier for them to produce that way probably less chance of people seeing flaws because there wouldn't be any contrast between the stitching and the swoosh but when there is contrast Contrast, it's easier to see like a hanging thread for example but they've took they took they've taken the time to do that and I super appreciate that I love it when they take the time to look at some details on the sneaker and to take a bit more effort looking at it and it's not just a case uh, of going with the easiest option uh, and that's also reflected in the outsole now I can show you this purple outsole here I think it's purple um, which is the left shoe um, but instead of looking at that outsole uh, because that's just one of them let's look at the pair together and you can see from the side that one of the shoes is green and the other one is purple and again I really appreciate that and I also appreciate that the swooshes don't match the outsole so on the purple swooshed sneaker you've got the green outsole and on the green swooshed sneaker you've got the purple outsole um, so for me it really is a cool sneaker it all kind of ties together in a really interesting story um, and it's got enough little details on there and it's it's not just a case of saying, yeah, mismatch mids. Uh, it's not that simple. It's, you, you've got to look into it and say, well, what is the mismatch on there? And how carefully have they thought about that? Um, and have they they've specifically chosen the way to mismatch it? It's not just a case of saying, you know, we'll just switch out these colors, but they're saying, right, how will we do this? What will we do with the stitching? How will we do it with the branding? Uh, what can we do at the back where the swooshes join together? That kind of thing. How will we do with the swooshes and the outsoles? Will we match them up and then mismatch them on the other shoe or will we cross it over? Now, I talked about about that uh, with the New Balance uh, RC 1300s that dropped from the uh, Tokyo Design Studio recently and hopefully the picture of them behind me here is that they were really a cool mismatch because the lacing system was in a different color and then that color swatched, swatched, switched over to the heel on the alternate shoe um, and, I, and I love that kind of like diagonal mismatching across and it's like that with the swooshes and the outsoles on these guys here so I'm a real fan of the mismatch um, kind of design in sneakers I really appreciate it when they do that I think it's a big plus on the sneaker and then when they get it right like this uh, it's just a really really cool sneaker now for me there's one tiny other thing on these guys that sort of just made me go hmm and that's it's an awful white sneaker uh, it would have been kind of cool if they'd done something say with the toe box or maybe with the midfoot or something like that or the lacing you know the quarter line and around the lacing system or something it is an awful white sneaker and that's one of the reasons why people won't go for it because white sneakers get dirty very very quickly but you know other than that and that tongue branding not being mismatched up there for me 
total look at the whole sneaker it's actually a very very cool sneaker it's got a really cool story uh, when you dig into the little details on it there's a bit more interest in there and a bit more sort of narrative a bit more of a story than just a mismatched sneaker so all in all for me a big yes I like these guys very much I've done quite a few mids down the years uh, or down the years down the months maybe because I've been doing this for 18 months um, and sometimes they're hitting sometimes they're missed like I said those black toes uh, worked out really well for me uh, and hopefully this Nike hoops uh, uh, mid will come well you know come hard for me as well and people out there will appreciate this kind of content uh, but that said that's my overall look at these guys a nice look at the sneaker real fine great story uh, hopefully you guys appreciate it as well hopefully people out there will be going after these guys and be happy to tell me um you know if they're interested in this this is a sneaker that they want to uh, you know go out there and dig into their pockets pull their money out and actually you know go and go and get these guys and uh, get them in hand and buy them uh, for now though it's time for me to sign off um, I'm going to be coming back tomorrow with a slightly controversial video which is about the um, LeBron 17 um, Scotty Pippins the uh, the up tempos um, because I'm not going to to be a thousand percent complimentary on that and I was already somewhat hammered for the way I treated the uh, infrared, the, the uh, LeBron 17 infrared and unfortunately if you're a LeBron 17 guy these up tempos are probably going to get a very similar bit of treatment from me. Have reviewed a lot of 17s 90% of the time I love them uh, but the infrareds I wasn't a huge fan of and then tomorrow with these pippins these uh, up tempos uh, it won't it won't be all gush let's put it that way. For now though time for me to sign off thank you guys for checking out my content but because I do do this every single day that means that you are guaranteed to see me tomorrow.